Thanks for joining us today. Today we'll be driving through the world-famous Glenwood Canyon in the western Colorado in the United States of America. This is just a small clip from the entire video, which is the entire drive from Denver, Colorado to the Utah border following Interstate 70. Link below. Glenwood Canyon is rugged and scenic, 12.5 mile or 20 kilometers. Its walls climb as high as 1,300 feet or about 400 meters above the Colorado River. It is the largest such canyon on the upper Colorado. The canyon, which has historically provided the routes of railroads and highways through western Colorado, currently furnishes the routes of Interstate 70 and the Union Pacific's central corridor between Denver and Grand Junction. The first road was created in 1906. The gravel road was the first route for cars going through the Colorado Rockies. There are four rest areas along the canyon that provide picturesque stops with plenty of walking and biking trails. Exit 125 rest area is the Hanging Lake Stop. Hanging Lake is a popular tourist spot that is only reachable by the Dead Horse Trail, which is a 2.4 mile hike round trip. To visit Hanging Lake, you are now required to have a paid reservation. Google Hanging Lakes, it is an amazing place. Weather in the area can be very diverse and dangerous. The past couple of years, there has been fires that strips the soil, the vegetation that holds the soil together. Then any time over the next couple of years before vegetation can regrow, any heavy rain can cause mudslides that can and have destroyed the highway. Plan ahead, know before you go, and check for the latest road conditions by going to coloradotrip.org. I will link it below. You especially want to check before driving during the winter. Snow and ice can and do cause accidents and close the entire highway in a blink of an eye. A little info direct from the Colorado DOT. Give yourself extra time and avoid traveling during adverse weather conditions. Have an emergency kit in your vehicle. Include extra food, water, medicine, clothing, batteries, and any other necessities. Enough to sustain you for 10 hours. Make sure your car is in safe driving condition with adequate tires. When on the road, obey the speed limits and don't follow too closely. Speeding and tailgating are among the leading causes of crashes, injuries, and fatalities. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe. We are going to start a new series of us traveling the Gulf Coast from Texas to the Florida Keys and then up to Canada. This will take us between 8 to 10 months. We will document all the roads along with all the interesting places there is to see along the way.